Hi, this is Jim Bob, and um, I wasn't going to do a video tonight, but I, I got inspired because I need to move. I need to get rid of 90% of what I own. Now, let me explain, just in case you think you want a list of what I have and what I'm going to sell it for. <clears throat> I'm going to give them away to Goodwill or Salvation Army because nobody wants the stuff I got. I've been accumulating stuff. Do, do you want pictures of my father and my mother and and me when I was four, five, and six when they had a brownie camera and they made me stand there by their car and take a picture? And I got all these albums of pictures. You can't put a price on that because nobody's going to buy it. I'm just looking around here in this room. You want a 30-year-old couch? Oh, here's, um, here's some equipment that was involved with uh, electric storm here. And I don't even know if the speakers still work, but I've kept them. There's a turntable I'm looking at. Um, I'm paralyzed, okay? I'm paralyzed because of attachment. I've given away thousands of books. I've been a book reader all my life. And when I went to college... And it wasn't just one college. Sometime I'll do a video and impress you on the number of colleges that I went to and left and went somewhere else and went. It's a wonder I even found a college that uh, I could graduate from. And... Um, Talking about clutter, I've got a, I got a, a um, master's degree from a university that I never used. And to go into the mental health field, which I did go into, I had to go through another three years got all these books you think they're in date you think I can sell the books to anyone if they're only 20 or 30 years old textbooks I don't think so where's the attachment I've given I've given hundreds away if not more than that and I've got I'm in the garage right now. The other room's full of books. Books that I may not even, I may have bought and never read yet or I read partially and thought I'd go back to them. I also had a flood down here. There was an overflow of about four or five inches in one hour. And I had boxes of books in the basement that had to be thrown away. And um, so what's all this stuff getting me? What's it getting me? Well, what, let's, let, let me ask you to consider this. Do you have things in your home that's paralyzing you? You 
you know you don't can't get into those clothes anymore. The uh, shirt's too tight. The slacks are too tight around the stomach. And you're not getting younger. And as much as you and I try to control our diets, we're not losing the weight. So we've got these 25-year-old clothes hanging all over the closets. We have shoes that we, ne we haven't ever worn for years, so why are we keeping them? Give them to people that can use them. Take them to Goodwill or Salvation Army. I'm asking, I'm telling myself that. I'm not telling you. That's for you to decide. Okay, there's 8 billion people in the world. I, I heard that the other day. People can't afford socks or shoes. You know, and I got a book the other day from the Dollar Tree. That's, that's how I get stuff. It's only a dollar twenty-five now, Dollar Tree. Or if you're in Fresno, California, they got a ninety-nine cent store. That's how you accumulate without thinking about it. So, uh, I read this book by a famous author. It was a paperback. I bought it for a dollar twenty-five at uh, Dollar Tree, and once a month she'd go out with a group of men and give away things, clothing of some type or other to keep them warm in the cold, time, in the cold uh, atmosphere. The number one, the number one thing that they needed were socks and shoes. And here, here in my basement, I, I can grab six I've never worn, six pair, and take them straight to Goodwill tomorrow. You think I should do that? Now those can be used. I got I got clothes upstairs. I put I put the clothes I can't wear yet on one side of the closet. Is there, would that be a good idea to take those down if I can't wear them? Put them in garbage bags and take them to Goodwill for the poor people that can only spend a dollar or two dollars. Don't get me wrong, I'm not an expensive uh, buyer, you know, th 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 this this cost me about nine dollars off of Amazon. Did I tell you why I wear hats? If you go through the video list under videos, you're going to see I, I have, you're going to see I have a hat on each time. There's a reason for that. That's not because I'm, I'm vain. I went and got a haircut from someone that I suspect had had a good dose of drugs. And they hacked this side of my hair off, almost from here through there. That was about the time I was wanting to get my feet wet here on YouTube. And look, I, I know these these aren't professional. I, I know I don't know how to do a thumbprint right. I uh, I have no, I'm in a rural area. Anything I learn, it's by trial and error. And if I'm lucky, I'll, I'll uh, hit across uh, a YouTube um, video that gives me a hint. That's how come I'm able to do this video instead of doing it live like I used to 
when I did it live, I had uh, I had to download it, and then the next day I could put it back up like this. It's crazy. A guy my age, not knowing what what I'm doing. Okay. Four nights ago, I, I did about a 40-minute video and deleted it at midnight. It was the worst three nights. I mean, that was really the, the worst two nights I had had in a long time. But when I played it back, I, I, had, I was so tired from lack of sleep that I was making too many mistakes and I deleted the whole thing. I found out it's still there though. I ran across it yesterday. It's not deleted. Almost put it back on again. Mistakes and all. Warts and all as they call it. Okay, so here, here here's what uh what 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 I wanna do. I wanna get rid of ninety percent of my stuff. And 90% of it is no good. Let me give you an example. And if you want these, let me know. I got a couple boxes of um, computer cords that went to printers, went to computers that came out when computers, personal computers, started being sold. Do you remember the VIC-20? You remember the uh, Commodore 64? How, how would you like, how would you like uh, for, for me to ship those to you and you pay for postage? How would, how would you like all the cord, just the cords? You may be able to do something with them. They got wire in them. <laughs> do you know when I was growing up, I, I'd do anything. I'd crawl into uh, a garbage bin owned by South Central Bell to get things out of there to build electronic equipment. And if I got the wires... I could do a whole lot because uh, um, I, I, w I was running out law phones outside and talking to girls at night while my parents were inside. We're talking about I, I made my own exp extension phones when it was illegal. Um, it w you had to pay for every line in your house. I did not. I pirated it uh, maybe six times a telephone company paid my dad a visit wanting to know if he had any way of controlling my behavior when he was gone to work. I can tell you some good stories of meeting girls on the phone at midnight just by dialing numbers outside and going and meeting them later. Don't try it now. Those were the good times. Um, this is, as you can, as you can tell, it's a free-flowing conversational um, I want to say sharing, <clears throat> trying to motivate myself starting tomorrow to give away 90% of the trash. And some of it's not trash, some of it's pretty good new books. I used to sell hundreds, if not thousands, of books, not too many thousands, maybe 2,000 books on Amazon um, on the used book market and my brother said to me why did I stop my brother said to, to me 
by the time you go and buy mailing bags and you pack them and you put a label on them with the address and Amazon takes their percentage out how much you think you're losing per book that you're selling well you know it's like someone struck me with uh, hit me with a sledgehammer I was in there for making money not losing money and then I calculated it out he was right by the time I did that paid for gasoline to go to the post office came back people saying they didn't get the books having to credit them their money back I wasn't making anything so I've done a lot of things that uh, I wouldn't do over again and I'm just sort of chatting telling you look around in your own life uh, depending upon your age uh, you may be in the accumulation age and that and I was there every every week I go to the bookstore and buy go to that bargain counter table and buy at least fifty to a hundred dollars worth of books on self-help and psychology those those are gone now I gave those away uh, I've got I've gone more towards spiritual books now rather than self-help do it yourself I'm taking a spiritual path some of you are there some of you all are more um, being your own person and and uh, that's okay too you, you you got hopefully plenty of time to make whatever changes um, I once studied yoga I once studied uh, Eastern philosophy yes. there was time for that may not be now you don't know how old I am probably <laughs> I've written a lot of poetry books I've sold a lot of poetry books I when I say a lot less than 10 maybe 12 but you know I'm getting old when I'm thinking today about writing a book about poems on death and dying I'm not feeling too well but that's uh, that goes with the game that we're in right now if some of you are in that game now or path let's call it a path and many of you won't be in that path for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Not 60. <laughs> I'm not good with numbers. So, um, I don't blame any of you all for not watching this. And I certainly don't <laughs> blame you if you've already switched it over to uh, turn it off. If you like it, if you like the chats I have, and you want to to be a part of knowing when I do another one, you can hit the subscribe button. I think I got 22 now. The people I watch on YouTube have thousands, at least 2,000. I've got 22 subscribers. Valentine's Day is over. 
or I would say be my valentine and hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good rest of the week.